Hi, welcome to my channel CAD Academy. My name is S. Banerjee and I am a freelance educator of CAD and engineering drawing or drafting for last seven years. After spending a long time with my colleagues, friends and students discussing over their problem on engineering drawing, especially on the topic computer data drafting or drawing, I started working on this project. My first approach is to keep it straight and simple for the new users of AutoCAD. So not wasting more time, let us come to the course. This is our AutoCAD interface, the latest release AutoCAD 2020. This is AutoCAD 2020. These are menu bars, toolbars. This is the model space where we draw and lot other things. When I will come to AutoCAD, I will tell you in details. But you must see here, we have two lines here. One is red one and the other is the green one. It is written X and Y. What is this? This is coordinate system. This is X axis, the red one and the Y green one is the y axis so to learn autocad before that we have to learn coordinate system and what coordinate geometry is now i am going to show you something that what coordinate geometry is the coordinate geometry or coordinate system you can see we have two lines here another one is horizontal line and another is vertical line in coordinate system we say horizontal axis and vertical axis in this graphical representation, you can see the point where the two lines, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis intersects, there is a point that is called the origin. In this point, the value of x and the value of y is 0. From this point, we start measuring other points. Okay. Now, from this point, if we go right hand side, that defines the positive x direction. If we go left hand side, that defines the negative x direction. If we go upwards, that is positive y direction. And if we go downwards, that is that defines the negative y direction. Okay. Now, the coordinate system is divided into two parts. One is Cartesian and another is polar. The Cartesian system is uh, defined by the x value and the y value. The polar, it is defined by the distance and direction. Again, the Cartesian is divided into two parts. One is absolute, another is incremental or relative. There is no absolute system in polar. It is always incremental or relative. So, now I am going to show you what is coordinate or the definition of coordinates this is a rectangle i have a rectangle here which dimension is which length is 100 and the width is 80 in the middle of this rectangle we have one point i assume that this point in, is in the middle so from this point we have to come 50 units and from here we have to move 40 units to reach this point so from a standard point if i pick this one this point as a standard point we have to come 50 units on this side and 40 units on this side now we can say that we are coming 50 units and 40 units that means 50 comma 40. this is coordinate to define a point and there is no other method to define any point to define a point we need coordinate and always for a standard procedure to understand globally first we define the horizontal axis then the vertical axis that is why i say 50 comma 40 instead of 40 comma 50 now let us understand some more 
so now i'm going to tell you about absolute coordinate system what absolute coordinate system is in absolute coordinate system the origin is fixed on origin uh, the origin is fixed and here this is my origin and the value of origin is the x value is 0 and the y value is 0 we have to come to the a point and the distance is 100 units so we are coming coming on the right hand direction that means we are coming in the positive x direction so the value of x is 0 previously I told you first we have to define the horizontal axis then the vertical axis and we are not moving upwards or downwards so the value of y is 0 here you have to mention 0 now we have to go to b point or my origin is this this o point and we can't go this way diagonally to b we have to go always we have to go horizontally first then vertically so to reach b we have to move 100 units towards our right hand side that means plus x plus 100 and upwards that means plus y so it is 80 units again next we have to come to c so from o if we measure we don't have to move right hand side or left hand side so the value of x is 0 we are moving upwards so this value 80 is in positive so the uh, coordinate of c is 0 comma 80 again we have to come back to o to complete the line c o so the value of o we all know that is 0 comma 0 this is absolute coordinate system what is relative coordinate system relative coordinate system is our origin is the last point in this case o is our start point so o 0 comma 0 the value of x is 0 value of y is 0 from o we are coming to the a point that means o is my origin we are coming right hand side that means in positive x direction and not moving upwards or downwards so the value of y is 0 now from a we have to come to b now our last point is a that means this is our origin assume this as an origin and from a if this is the origin we are not going right hand side or left hand side so the value of x is 0 and we are moving upwards that means in the positive y direction so the value is 0 comma 80 from b to c now assume b as a origin from b we are coming left hand side that means minus 100 units and the not coming upwards or downwards that means the value of y is 0 now from c to o now c is my origin we have to come to o we are not going right hand side or left hand side so the value of x is 0 we are coming downwards that means negative y direction that means minus 80 okay and polar coordinate i told you polar coordinate we have to define the direction distance and then direction we have four points here o a b c from o to a it is 100 units a to b 80 minutes that means b to c 100 units and c to o 80 units o 0 comma 0 start point coming to a before that i tell you that the positive x direction we start our angle measuring from the positive x direction that means zero this point is zero degree moving counterclockwise this is our 90 degree again 180 degree 270 degree coming here completing the 360 degree angle now o 0 comma 0 a distance 100 angle right hand side 0 degree b i told you that this is always incremental so we have to come to a to b that means the b the distance is 80 moving upwards that means 90 degree b to c the value the distance is 100 and the angle moving left hand side that means 180 degree and c to o the distance is 80 and the angle moving downwards that means 270 degree this is my polar coordinate system now let's get back to autocad or not actually autocad i want to tell you that uh, in your drawings in your engineering during your engineering studies during your doing any professional drawing we mostly use line or circle you can say arc arc is also a part of circle rectangle combination of like se line segments polygons combination of line segments ellipse combination of two circles of different radius but the circles are concentric
now we have to learn to draw line and circles and rest of the things so now what is line what is the simple definition of line assume this as a point so this is a point assume this as a point and this is another point now how we can connect these points through a curve or arc or something like that and straight so from this thing we can say that what is line the line is the minimum distance between two points so draw a line to draw a line we need two points and to draw a line we need two points and to define a point we need coordinate that is why coordinate system is so important okay